By Samsung allowing us to remap the Bixby button, not only has Samsung given us more use out of a physical button, but it's also exposed a feature that most of us even forgot existed. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, let's start by first seeing what's changed in this new Bixby update. Go into settings of Bixby, scroll down and then you'll see Bixby key. Now here's where you'll notice the difference. Originally, we just had the option to change between single and double press to launch Bixby, but now we have a sub menu. So when you double press the Bixby button, once you turn that on, you have two options. You can either open an app or run a quick command. So let's start with opening an app. Yeah, you can choose any app you want. I'm gonna choose, for example, not Instagram, let's choose Chrome. There it is, click on that. Right, so now when I double press the Bixby button, Chrome launches. Superb, I've got a control over the physical button now. But let's go back into the settings and I'm gonna show you the second option. This is what Samsung actually exposed. We've had this before, but a lot of people simply don't use them. This is the quick commands. Essentially what it is, is basically ability to batch your own set of commands that you would do on your phone together. It's broken down into various categories. And here, once you go into the subcategories, you'll see something like, I'm going to work. As soon as I say I'm going to work, it turns on the Bluetooth, turns off the Wi-Fi, and I get directions to the work address. I can also add my own commands to that. So I'm going to select a command. I'm going to go down to where it says Google Maps. Where is it? Okay, there it is. Click on Google Maps, and I'm going to say also show me the traffic to work. Now, turn on Bluetooth, turn off Wi-Fi, direction to work, and the traffic on the way to work. Now, let's see what this looks like in action. Double press my physical button now, and there we go. So it starts. Firstly, it's going to turn on Bluetooth. So I can connect to my car audio. Then it's going to turn off Wi-Fi. That's great. So I'm going to save my battery whilst I'm driving. No reason to have Wi-Fi. Now, directions to work. There it is. And the next option is going to give me the traffic to work. Perfect. The more time you spend within these categories, the more cool things that you'll find that your phone can do, your apps can do, and really customize your phone much to your liking. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the head to subscribe if you like this kind of content, apps, gadgets, tips and tricks and how-tos. Check out some of these other cool videos on the S9, Big Speed, Note 9, a whole bunch of stuff, and I'll see you guys on the next episode, because that's Tech Simple. Cheers for now.